music, but a computer program. Island Records have been beaten to it, though, by EMI's Chris Seavey. Rumour has it that both of these Mancunian singers share an American fan club manager who leaked Shelley's idea to CV. But what we wondered has been holding back the master of monopoly, as in the parlour game capitalism, Richard Branson. We put this to a Virgin Records spokesman who sharply informed us that these developments were well in hand. The company is working on a new technological breakthrough that will display the Human League's worldwide earnings on a computer screen while you play their next album. <laughs> anyway. Back in the real world, Pete Shelley is here with the relevant hardware, if it works that is, to demonstrate the computer effects on his new album, XL1. Right, now, there's one, tr one track on this album, if you play it on the stereo, you get a rather irritating buzzing noise, noise in your ear now. Yes. Why is that? Because uh, that's what the computer talks to itself with. Right, so you've got <coughs> encoded on the album, you've got what? Uh, all the, the lyrics and some graphics to go with. Right, them. and in order to use this toy at home, what gear do you need? Um, well, you need a record player, of course, right. and an album, or, and a cassette recorder to record the track onto the cassette to feed to the yeah. album. Or if you get the cassette, you actually get the program already on the cassette, which then feed into the right. computer. Yeah. But once you've done we'll that... We'll explain that again in English later, yeah. <laughs> well, the thing, once you've done that, as we've got here, like... like right, you've already done that, already yeah. Done it, yeah. Right, so you've got, so, do one next. so basically you record this track onto a cassette which then yeah. forms the program for the computer. Now you've yeah. already put that into the computer's memory, mm -hmm. right? So, shall we play the track and see what comes up on the screen? Well what you do is you play the track and the moment you hear play. music you press any button. Right, do you want to see if this is going to function works, for yeah. us then? There we go, right. Listen to music. Basically, you just get the lyrics to each song and, the, and a, a sort of b bit of uh, graphics sort of pattern going on behind it. Yes. Um, I mean, is, isn't this very gimmicky? I mean, is it not rather like this year's version of coloured vinyl? Uh, it could be. I think he and I are going to try and make it this year's version of mm. coloured vinyl. Well, what are you going to do that's any more interesting then? Uh, well, we're just doing it as being uh, a thing which has been dreamt of and therefore can be put into practice. Mm. It's I mean, an extra added thing. Right, so it's just to sort of en enhance your enjoyment yeah. of the record. Well, well I, mean, yeah. I mean, the record is ten tracks which took six months to do. Mm. So I worked a long time on that. And this is just something as an addition right. rather than uh, the whole gimmick. You were a, a computer programmer, is that right? Or operator before uh, you yes, were in the... Yes, I was a computer operator. Before, before you were in the buzzcock. So is this a sort of long nurtured dream that you've had? Uh, I've got my own back on computers. Of sort of combining the two. I can get computers to do what I want them to do. Right. But I mean, is it something that you've had planned for ages? Uh, it's something which has been in the pipeline for ages. Mm. And I mean, although you admit that this is just sort of a, a device to kind of enhance your pleasure of listening to the record, I mean, do you have any plans for doing anything more substantial with it? I mean, does it have any sort of developments? Uh, well, it's got lots. It's got as many developments as a human ingenuity well, can uh, apply to it. Can you, can you be sp specific about other... I mean, I, I'm talking specifically about things that you can encode on a record. Anything that you want to encode right. on a record. Well, yeah. I mean, the fact that Virgin uh, and also KTL have got into the, uh, the computer business mm. shows that uh, it's possible to do a lot within that mm. scope. And do you yourself have any specific plans to do anything more sophisticated? Uh, yeah, more sophisticated. Because we've had to put so many, well, because there's so many lyrics, which yeah. takes up space in the computer, right. uh, therefore it's a little bit limited in that respect. Mm. But uh, the next single that I do, there's going to be on the 12 inch um, a, a program they're devoted just to that song. Right, now what, what will that consist of? I mean, more, more elaborate graphics uh, or...? But yes, we're developing things more and more all the time. Mm. So, well, I mean, like, even though this comes out on June the 20th, it's, uh, it's going to be a long time before... Uh, but it's, it's took a long time to bring it out, mm. but when it actually comes out uh, fully, you know, 
It's mm. almost imagination. I've heard Bath and Jen's Alvis are interested in that. Mm. Oh, well, I'll look forward to that one. <laughs> All right, Pete Shelley, thank you very much. Thank you.